Hey, it's Michael with AutomateTheWeb.net. In this video, I want to talk about VBA's IntelliSense User Interface Helper Menu. It's an especially useful tool if you're new to programming in VBA. It shows you a pop-up list for all the methods and properties that are available to an object. But first, we need to talk about early binding versus late binding of object variables. And think about early binding versus late binding as we're binding an object to its intent, to the purpose that we have in mind for it. So if you consider IE as the variable which we want to use to manipulate Internet Explorer, we can declare that variable using late binding, where we simply and generically declare it as an object, and late because it's only later that we give it its intent. Or we can early bind it, meaning early on, we tell VBA what our intention is with it. Best practice says you want to do early binding as often as possible and I also recommend it if you're new to VBA coding because it's only when you do early binding that you get the benefit of the IntelliSense helper. For example, if I want to make Internet Explorer visible and maybe I forgot how to do that, I would start typing and as soon as I hit the dot after the object variable, I see the IntelliSense helper menu pop up that gives me all of that object's available properties and methods. And by seeing them and getting familiar with them using the IntelliSense helper, I could learn how to code in VBA a lot faster. Now what would happen if I used late binding for the IE object? As soon as I started typing the variable and hit the dot, no IntelliSense helper. That doesn't mean it won't work if you know the command, it will still work and it will still autocorrect capitalization. The same goes for an object variable for the web page itself. I'll often use doc or hdoc for this. After I type that period, I can see get element by ID. I can also see get elements by class name, get element by name, get element by tag name, and lots of other methods and properties that I could use. And every once in a while, I'll just scroll through this list and consider how I might use some of these methods or properties. And because I declared doc as an HTML document, these are all the possible properties and methods for the HTML document object. Page title. Hmm, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Let's consider late binding the doc object in a more generic way as simply an object. Now when I type dot, I don't get the IntelliSense helper. It's still okay. I could still write this code. It would still run. The same goes for declaring an element. I like to use ELE or LE for elements, and if I know that I'm looking for an HTML input element, I should declare it as such. So that when I get down here and I do a dot, I can see all of the possible methods and properties associated with an HTML input element. That's a common one that I use, value. So once again, that's an example of early binding the intent to use ELE as an HTML input element. However, I could late bind it and declare its intention later on. I don't get the benefit of the IntelliSense helper. However, I often will do late binding on element objects. Even though I'll do early binding on the Internet Explorer browser and the web page document, most of the time I will do late binding on element as object. And there's two reasons for that. One, I already have a pretty good idea of the HTML elements, methods, and properties available. I don't really need the context of the IntelliSense helper. But more importantly, I could use Ellie in a variety of roles by declaring it as an object rather than more specifically as an input element. For example, I could use Ellie here to attach it to this element, which is an input element, but then I can turn around and use it down here as a div element. So that's the advantage to declaring an object more generically and late binding it as an object. So the bottom line, usually you want to early bind your objects to their intended use for one, because it's best practice, and two, because you get the added benefit of the IntelliSense helper. However, it's okay to late bind declare your objects as well if you know how to use them and you, and you want to use them for multiple roles. I hope this video helped. That's it for now. We'll catch you later.